Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new features in MD 5.5 to trim or extend your internal lines to the edges of your pattern. So you no longer have lines, internal lines that stick out the edges or that don't reach the edges and then you have to go pulling them around and hoping you don't get them crooked and, you know, doing one by one, extending them out. Which can be a lot of work and time, especially if you have many, many internal lines, like I have for some projects where I do complex pleating or puffed effects, etc. Then it can take a lot of time. So how do we make it extend to the edge of a pattern? Simple. We take our Edit Pattern tool, right-click on the endpoint, and say Extend Trim to Pattern Outline. And there it goes, nicely to the edge. Same thing for these long ones. And there it's nice. We can also do several in one go. So I can select, holding down shift, all of these points which are too long or too short, right click, extend to pattern outline, and there it trims it very nicely. Same thing with these points. Now you see there's another option too. Let me just copy this line and paste it. This option here, extend trim and add point, if I do that, and then if I move this line away, you can see that it added a segment point where that line was um, intersecting with the outline. So if you want that, that can be useful, especially if you're doing things like um, pleating, where you want to have the points, separate points, where each internal line meets with the edge of the pattern, so that you can segment sew it easily onto something else. Or if you just want to have some dots there for other sewing things, or maybe you want to distort it and if we had a point here, let's just make it almost there, just, then you could, you know, do stuff to it. Up to you, but you have that option. And again, here we do that, add a point, and there you can see we have a point. Alright, that's it for extend and trim. I just wanted to note one more thing before I finish this tutorial. When you copy and paste internal lines, Let's just copy this one and then paste and hold on shift. You see you can now align it to different axes, which is very useful. They didn't have that before, so that's a new feature too. You can just slide it across or down and then click and it's perfectly in line with the other one. Alright, so see you in the next tutorial.